Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia where we love making wreaths. With me today is Louie and in today's video we are doing a Mother's Day wreath. We're using a technique that's not commonly used. It's called a poof cruffle. This is the first poof cruffle wreath that I'm doing on this channel because I always tended to do the poof curl. So I'll attach a video in the description box below so you know what I'm talking about when it comes to the poof curl. This is a great technique for a big and fluffy wreath while hiding the edges where we cut the deco mesh, which means less fraying, big, poofy, beautiful full wreath. With that being said, let's get started. Let's go over the supplies for this wreath. I'm going to be using two different colors of 21 inch decomash that's by 10 yards. If you're going with one color, you can definitely get away with one roll. And I'll tell you the measurements for that a little later. When it comes to the ribbon for this wreath, all of my ribbon is wired. This one is two and a half inches and it's a rose one, really pretty. The other one has roses, but they're a little bit tiny. And this one has little polka dots. Both of these are one and a half inches. You are going to need pipe cleaners. This sign is eight inches in diameter and it's a really, really pretty sign. Everything that I have here, I will list in the description box below and where I purchased it. For the base of this wreath, I'm going to be using a 14 inch metal wreath form. One of the best ways to save money when making a wreath is to add your own pipe cleaners to a plain wreath base like this. This is 14 inches in diameter, as I said, and it has six sections. In each section, we are going to put three pipe cleaners. Therefore, you need a total of 18 to cover this wreath base. If you look at it a section at a time, it's going to make it the easiest. First pipe cleaner is going to go under one and two. And the reason I put it on both is for stability. I'm going to make a tight twist or two. And then I'm going to face this pipe cleaner towards the inside of the wreath base. The next two pipe cleaners are going to go on both sides of the center one on rows three and four. This time I'm going to twist the tail towards the outside. Same thing with the third one. And that's it, my friends. If you just focus on a section at a time, this is how easy it is to put on these little pipe cleaners. I'm done attaching all the pipe cleaners. You should have six on this inside row that are attached to row one and two, and 12 on the outside that are attached to rows three and four. For this wreath method, we are going to need 24 pieces of deco mesh. And if you are using one roll, I recommend cutting them at 15 inches, no more, because that's going to give you a full roll. 360 inches is 10 yards. Divide that by the 24 pieces we're going to need. That gives us 15 inches per piece. For our wreath, we're going to do 12 pieces of decomage per color, and I'm going to stick around 15, 16 inches. Before I start cutting, I'm just cleaning up the edge a little bit, and then I'm going to start measuring out my 15 inch strips, and I'm going to be putting these in a laundry basket next to me. And off I go, cutting 12 pieces of the pink. Let's do this lime color. And I specifically chose the lime and the pink because for mom's 50th birthday party, those were the colors that we chose that we felt like just spoke of my mom because she loves roses, she loves flowers, and pink and this lime um, green just goes together so beautifully. Since I'm talking about color combo, I thought I would ask all of you, what is your favorite color combo? Let me know in the comments below. To make my ribbon bundles, I'm going to grab this one and a half wired beautiful ribbon and I'm going to make 12 inch strips. 
I'm going to do 17. If you are not making a bow and you have a sign that's bigger and you're going to put it in the center, then just go ahead and do 18 of these. To cut your ribbon strips, fold the sides and cut off a little triangle, making sure you cut the little part where it folds over. That way you have two little endings and we have our little fishtails at the same time. Next, I'm going to take the pink polka dot ribbon, which is also an inch and a half, and I'm going to make 17 strips at 12 inches, just like I did with the first one. I'm going to cut these the same way, fold the ending, cut a little triangle out, and we're making dovetails at the same time as cutting them. My ribbon is all cut up. Now we're going to put the deco mesh on. Since we are using two different colors of deco mesh, we are going to put it on every other color as we're moving along. And here comes the poof cruffle part. We're going to do the cruffle first. So what I'm going to do is grab two little clips. You could use anything you have on hand, even clothespins. And what we want to do is curl about to the center. When we're at the center, we're going to measure off five inches and we're going to clamp it and clamp five inches on this side, just like that. Then we're going to turn it around and curl it towards the inside. Going to bring everything together on one side and clamp it. This side, I'm just going to bring together with my fingers. As we're putting our poof cruffle on the wreath, make sure that the part where it's curled in is facing down. Then I'm going to open one of my pipe cleaners, give it one twist because we're going to open it to unite the next one. Then I got this one, scrunch it together nicely and put it on curl side down. One twist. Let's do the green one. We're going to curl it and my curls are about an inch and a half and I'm doing about, I don't know, about three rolls. Measure off five inches and clamp five inches. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So not that bad. We're just curling it. That's it, you guys. And we're curling it towards the center. And then here I'm just going to grab it while I pinch the other side together and then here I'm going to bring it together. This curl side is going down so that the smooth part is on top. I'm going to untwist that second one and then twist it together. Bring this part together and twist it onto the next one. It's not bad you guys we're just going end to end end to end as we're going along now, of course, another pink one and just curl it towards the inside. Here is the reason why I decided to do this. And that is because it is going to be a lot easier to poof out the center when we're coming from both ends versus I'm going to make a full curl because that's how I used to do it. It was like a full, full curl and then I untwist this. Well, if I do kind of like half a curl and half a curl from the other side, it's going to be easier to open up the poof when I'm working on the wreath and, you know, opening it up. The other reason is you fully hide the edges that you cut and therefore there's going to be a lot less fraying versus me doing the poof curl where the one edge of the curl could kind of fray. Of course, I put it upside down, smooth and up. Let's untwist where I ended and put this in. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this first row. The first layer is done. What I'm going to do now is open up the center. And as you can see, this is going to be so easy to fluff things out. Just going to go along and kind of open that center up to fill that space in. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tails and put them towards the inside because we're going to put another layer of deco mesh on here just like this is. And then we're going to put those tails on the outside because we're putting another row right on top or actually to the side of it. Where there's green, I'm going to put pink and where there's pink, I'm going to put green. Three, four little curls 
five inches on each side we're going to clamp and then bring it together from the other side clamp one side in this side I'm going to gather and we're going to flip and I'm going to put this in and as you can see I'm kind of pushing this one to the side and then adding the next one in all right my friends this is just the inside row we didn't do the outside yet but look how beautiful and full this is it's nice and even in color and if you feel like it's not just even it out bring up the pink the green or whatever colors you're using for whatever holiday or theme you're decorating this for all right now that we have the first two done we are going to go on the outside and the nice thing about it is on the outside we're just doing one row so we're just going to go every other all the way around and i'm going to do the poof cruffles just like i've been doing on the first row i'm done putting on all the decamesh and as you can see this is pretty full and to be honest i didn't really have to open it up too much i feel like it kind of already did it on its own to make our ribbon bundles i'm going to grab both of the ribbon overlap them fold them in half and when you do that you can pinch at the bottom so that you know exactly where your center is and then just bring that together and start attaching it at this point this is the last thing i'm going to put on here so i'm going to do a few twists and I'm going to continue twisting until I'm about an inch away from this connection. Cut off the excess tail, fold this part in half, and fold it back. It's nice and clean. In the first row, I'm going to put five, and on the sixth one is where my bow is going to go. And on the outside, I'm going to fill in all the pipe cleaners, all 12. Overlap, fold in half. Find that center, pinch it together, and connect onto the next pipe cleaner. My ribbon bundles are all on, but they are not open. We're going to do that later. Here is my free pipe cleaner where my bow is going to go. So let's do the bow next. Grabbing my bow maker, I'm going to put my dowels right there in the two center little holes. And I'm about to start making our bow. I'm going to measure off about seven inches for the tail. This is a one-sided ribbon so every time you go through the center you can twist it. You can either twist it once you're putting it on or you put it on and then twist it. That really doesn't matter. My bow loop is a little bit over five inches and I'm going to measure it the same on this side. A little bit over five and twist in the center we're going to make four loops with this ribbon the polka dot ribbon is also one-sided so we are going to twist every time we go through the center of the dowels i'm going to make the loops five inches and i'm going to make six loops with this ribbon Last but not least is our really, really pretty ribbon. And this one is also one-sided. Going to go a little bit less than five inches because this ribbon is all the way towards the top. All the ribbon is on and if you look at it sideways, this is really high because it's all high quality ribbon therefore i'm going to grab a zip tie i'm going to bring it together lightly the zip tie is on just to hold it together i'm going to take it off then i'm really going to squeeze it together and this is where the zip tie is going to do its work and bring that bow together and the bow is way smaller now our bow is ready and I can attach it with the pipe cleaner we already have. I'm not really going to push the bow all the way down just so it's nice and secure. Twist it. At this point I like to take care of the tails of the ribbon and you can cut it on a slant or fold the ribbon in half 
and cut a little triangle out. Okay, I'm going to open up the bow just to kind of see the size of it and the dimensions where it's going to be because now I'm going to bring in the sign to attach the Mother's Day sign. I'm going to get some floral wire. As usual, I like to attach these in the back. Now that we have the wires attached, I'm going to attach the sign. Now we can definitely work on all our ribbon and we're just going to open them up like little flowers. And I love doing this because at this point, your work is pretty much done. It's a happy thing. You get to kind of do this final reveal of what your wreath is looking like. Look how beautiful this is. And of course, we need to open up all those loops on the bow. And before you start opening everything up, do make sure that you have a hanging loop and you cover the back if that's what you want to do, especially if you're selling the wreath or gifting the wreath, you want to make sure that the back of the wreath is beautifully taken care of. My wreath is all done and from the top, it looks like there is a lot of ribbon, but I think it's this bow that's kind of fooling you. If you see this wreath up close, you can definitely see where all that deco mesh is. You can see the green, the curls, the pinks from the side and from the front. It just depends on how you open the ribbon. Now, if you feel like there's just a little bit too much ribbon, you can do one of two things. Only use one ribbon per bundle or per um, the 17 connections we made or you can knock the ribbon down to 11 inches in length so it's a little shorter. I do like the way it looks. I love all those curls peeking through here and there. And as you can see here, you can definitely see all that deco mesh. I hope you enjoyed this wreath tutorial in the comments below don't forget to say hello to me and let me know your favorite color combo and of course if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell so you are notified every time I post a video with that being said thank you so much for being with us and we will see you in our next video